What is up, guys? Um, I wanted to make a video to go over um, my farming strategy um, for this league because I've had a bunch of people drop by stream and give me a, a lot of uh, strong opinions about how inflation is completely out of control, um, magic find is too good, um, the league's super out of whack. Um, they can't find a farming strategy that they enjoy, and I thought, why not? Why not just make a video? I'm sure people know about this. This is not me assuming I created anything by any means. I just want to go over how I, you know, player. This is like my third league, um, and uh, working towards my fourth mirror this league. I have uh, three house mirrors, all all of which were bought in one day. I made about 600 div yesterday. I've already spent all of it. Um, re-upping on supplies, getting these cards, um, uh, buying some invitations, stuff like that. Um, but I can assure you that this, this strategy is very profitable, um, and I scaled it all the way from being basically broke. So what you're doing is you're boss rushing. Um, you're boss rushing, you're running uh, Elder Slayer's invitations because they're the fastest. There's no other reason the the amount of splinters you get are the same um, from the form to the forgotten, like all that stuff. Like if you roll your invitations, the splinters are the same, but Elder Slayers goes the fastest because they don't have Chimera. They don't have the Elder doing his weird animations. Um, and it's just, it's the most efficient. And it's also the most expensive to invest in, but for good reason. And I'll go over that in a moment. This is the Atlas Street. This is super jank, okay? Uh, flame me, if you will. I was doing challenges, all right? And I haven't respect anything because I don't need to, because the strategy needs very few nodes. It needs the map nodes, it needs destructive play, and it needs the invitation chance. Um, I'm also still specting. I'm, I'm farming my own Uber Cirrus and Uber Maven as a profit experiment right now. It's going pretty well. Um, Uber bossing turns out to be pretty decent. Um, so, strategy in general revolves around two things. Your ability to invest in it, and we can go over what a minimum investment looks like. Um, spoiler, it's about 11 div, uh, which is, in my opinion, not that much to start you snowballing. Um, and then it requires you to have a fast character, movement speed-wise, that has decent damage. So you're not playing MF. You're going to have to have a decent build. Um we're going to do a disclaimer about the builds I'd, I'd recommend and the strength of the build I'd recommend. If you're going to run this compass, instead of buying your map sets, and you're going to run this compass on Conqueror maps, because this does affect the Conqueror boss as well as the regular map boss, you will need a, a significantly stronger build. Um, and I did not run this compass on Conqueror maps themselves until I was, you know, well farmed and had a, a quite... I have a quite equipped character right now. Like I have a, a mirrored foil, original sin, you know, like this, it's a strength stacker. I'm, I'm, I would consider this character to be um, pretty strong. Um, and this is comfortable. It, well, it's been comfortable before then, before like maybe some mirror items, but it's, it's definitely not like a league starter compass, like triple life and double damage. It, it can make the boss very challenging for a lot of builds. So that's a disclaimer out of the way. So, Minimum def investment is 11 div, and now I say that, and you'd be like, well, I, I don't want to gamble 11 div. It's like, well, there's no gambling involved in this strategy. Um, all the calculations I've done for profit, which are in the description, um, are done with minimum assumptions. That is only guaranteed drops. I am assuming you do not drop any Elder Slayer's invitations from your map bosses. I'm assuming you do not drop any extra Conqueror maps other than the ones provided either by uh, the Sextant or that you've bought. Um, in map sets. With buying your map sets does reduce your profit a little bit, but it's still producing a lot of currency, if that's what you prefer to do. Um, and I'm also not accounting for anything dropped during the invitations. That means uh, Cirrus Fragments crests drop as a result of the invitations. They are not factored in. Um, minimum, the minimum of everything is factored in, and at a minimum, for every 11 divines you invest, you're going to make 15 divines. So four divines of profit, of profit, are guaranteed. Um, and now you're thinking, well, this doesn't sound very good. I don't want to put 11 divines in and get 15 out. That sounds like shit. Well, this is what I, I learned this league, and as a new player, this was like a really eye-opening thing for me, is that scaling your money. So I can invest 40 divines an hour into this strategy, 
and I can run 16 of these map sets, four full rucksacks in one hour. That's 16 invitations, um, 16 of each conquer map, and I can do that in one hour. And that is pushing me to, I invest 40 div, but I'm making 55. Uh, or sorry, 56, you know, 16 divides, about 16 divines profit with no good drops. No, nothing else that's dropping even counted it. And so then I can take 40 divines and turn it into 60 in an hour. And then I can take 40 divines, turn it into another 60 in another hour. And all of a sudden you play for five or six hours a day because let's face it, you're a PoE player and that's it's kind of how you jam. You just game. Um, blasting's fun. And all of a sudden you're into the hundreds of divines and you don't even realize how you got there. Uh, that was me earlier this league. Um, the only time I've gotten close to this much money is like getting lucky running Sanctum or um, doing some uber boss farming at the end of last league. All right, so I am going to run um, a set here and continue to talk about the strategy a little bit and then go over some of the things that are not included in the profit calculation, but that really push the money for this to the next level. So two of those things that are really big are one, Shaper and Elder map sets. Um, when you're running Destructive Play and you're running the map drop nodes, you get a lot of chances. Um, that's a that's a form. That's another thing to talk about. Um, but Shaper and Elder map sets sell really well right now because of the price of Maven's Ritz. Maven's Ritz are three and a half div a piece. So everybody's uh, trying to farm invitations. You might think, oh, I don't want to get in. That's like the market's crowded. It's like, no, it's it's great. Like, come on in. The water's fine. Like, you will make currency. I guarantee you. Um, so you get those, you obviously get other invitations, you get div cards, which are significant, and I'll tell you why they're significant, is because you're going to get Cortexes. You're going to drop a lot of Justified Ambitions, and this is a 1 in 5 chance for a Cortex, which is 2 div, and you're going to drop a lot of a Fate Worse Than Death, which I've actually spent all of right now, but I have 8 Cortexes that are worth 2 some div a piece. This is not factored into any kind of the profit calculations. This is just extra money that just sort of falls out of this strategy all the time. Now I'm, I'm slowing down to to go over something, but you can you, to do this efficiently, you do kind of need to be in the zone, going as fast as you can, and orb of horizoning your maps for good layouts. Uh, Mesa, Temple, I don't mind Plaza, um, and then tier 16s this league, you're kind of screwed if you have a natural T16 Conqueror map. I think the best layout I've found is Bazaar. Um, I don't mind the bizarre layout at all. Um, and then another big profit uh, factor is how often you're dropping Elder Slayer's invitations. And they increase your profit by, by hour. For each one you drop is an additional 1.5 div an hour. You can drop five or six of them. And you will be like, wow, I just had a really good run. Um, all of a sudden, you're closer to 22 div guaranteed profit an hour with a bunch of extra just loot falling off in all directions. You've got both map sets to sell. You've got Conqueror Exalts. You've got Orbs of Conflict. You've got Awaken Gems. And all of a sudden, you're kind of rich. And you're not going to know what to do with all of it. Uh, but what you should do is reinvest and make even more. So... To clarify a couple things, um, this is definitely, I guess I kind of said it before, but you definitely do want a character that's tuned to the strategy, because your profit is heavily tied to your speed, or not your, not your profit, but your, your earning rate is heavily tied to your speed, and for example, with mirrors approaching 900 div, um, as we're talking right now, if you, if you had a goal of getting a mirror this league, um, you do kind of have to go fast, because all the magic finding makes divines worth less. And mirrors worth more, and it's unfortunate. Hey, there we go. See, Elder Slayer's invitation drops. I should have probably let the let the ghost possess him, but I'm talking right now, um, you understand uh, how much extra stuff is dropping, like how much stuff that's not included in the profit is dropping, and you can start to sustain your progress. Um, and your supplies just by selling the extra stuff, just by selling the Cortexes, by selling the Exalts, uh, by selling some some Forms or some Twisteds that drop, because they're both worth a Div Plus. I think the Forms are worth like 1.5. Um, and all of a sudden, your money really starts to stack up. You can make some upgrades to your character and afford to keep buying supplies. 
orb of conflict 0.7 div you get you, you kind of get the gist of of how the strategy sort of scales and how effective it is and uh i'm it's getting to be kind of a long video and I've, I've rambled a lot, but a lot of stuff that I wanted to go over. I want to close by saying that I really hope that uh, if you guys like this, you come drop by the stream or leave a comment. And if you don't like it, you tell me how I'm a noob and how I fucked up and how I could be doing this better and I'm wasting a bunch of money and I could be going way faster. And uh, I would love to, to have some criticism from some people who are more well-versed in the strategy. And if you've watched the video for this long, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, and uh, good luck with your drops, guys.